Okay, to um, complete this animation, I'm just going to go through uh, some basic shading using the gradient fills available in Flash. So, this is pretty much where we left the last video. I've just added some arms in, tilted the feet a little bit so they look like they're making a bit more contact when they hit the ground. And then I'll just close this down. I'll use my library to edit the specific symbols. So we'll see in here around um, all the different bits. Start with the head. If I double click on that, it will isolate that for me. Let me just zoom in a little. And from the color panel, I can change that from a solid color to any type of fill. We've got linear, radial, and bitmap. Bitmap you can create in another program um, to create a texture, and you can have these kind of options for either the stroke or the fill. So if you've got a thick enough stroke, you could have a gradient, and that would be visible. And that's what I'm going to choose a radial gradient. This will default to black and white. Um, so I'm just going to try and approximate the colours I had before. Uh, this one here. Just another swatch roughly. In the same kind of area. And there we go, I've got dark bits. in a little bit of highlight as well just to show that the effect just push this across a little bit more <coughs> and then what we would use is the gradient transform tool so I'll just bring it across Here and that is hidden underneath the main transform tool. We click on that. What we can do is we can select a gradient fill, we can change the center point, for instance, like that. We can move the whole gradient up and down or across. And we can scale them, we can either scale them in one axis make it more elongated, like so, uh, which we can scale in the two axes and we can also rotate, like so, and these are, uh, we can give a little bit more depth and body to our ships. So I'll move on to the upper arm. edit that. Um, again this could be um, a linear gradient and probably work quite well because it's quite um, a rectangular shape but we can also use a radial gradient um, using the gradient transform tool we could skew that so it's a little bit more limb like bring that back in rotate that be a little bit more in line. Make it a little bit bigger again. So it's a bit more subtle. You can even move set the point up a little bit or down, for example, depending on where the light's gonna be and where the shadow is. In this example, it'd be probably quite a subtle touch. the lower arm and put a linear gradient radial gradient
Here we go. Um, just to show that with the torso, um, we can actually select different areas. Um, so we could add a gradient fill again with a radial gradient to one point. Um, but equally, so if I just change that to that point there, scale it down a little bit. We could also, for example, select certain parts to add additional gradients. So for example I'm selecting a part of the neck. I could change that over to a radial gradient again of its own. Edit that in its own right. we start to make some unique effects. It takes a little bit of work. And I'll do for now. Okay, so if I just return to scene one, and you'll see that the top half of the body is now being shaded in, well, with the exception of the hands. And so let's just see how that animates. Obviously you could carry that on to the rest of the body, um, or you could um, put textures in that uh, mimic clothing, for example, or even um, create bitmap textures to fill in, um, and that will be the end of that example.